Hello guys, so this video is about like tips for productivity and if you're like me and you're in your summer holidays and maybe you just want to be more productive or maybe you just want to like pick some steam up because you're going to school soon and I can relate, I feel like I've done nothing this whole summer and hopefully this video helps you along with helping me because I think I need some serious help. So um, these are just tips and you do not need to use all of them. Like these are just little things that you can do to increase your productivity. So I just hope you enjoy this video. So now you can see me setting up summer goals. You can't really see it, but I feel like this is like a big master to-do list for your whole summer. And this is what you want to do. So I find there's more motivation because you want to do these things. And I find that really, really helpful. The second thing that you can possibly do is to actually study something that you like to do. Such as I enjoy learning biology, but you don't need to learn biology. Like I enjoy doing the notes and like, you know, like drawing some weird stuff that is not really accurate. Oh well. But this type of stuff will help you in the end. So the next thing is more something you can do right, like right before school because since each class has different revision methods, like you can write down what type of revision you can do for each class, which I did last year and it worked. So the next thing is a bucket list. Pretty simple, just tiny little things that you want to do that you can do when you're bored, like say illustrate something or bake cookies that will not burn. Okay, so that would really like give you something to do so you're not bored. So the next thing is so important and that is to relax, whether that is reading a nice book or just doing something you like. So as you can see, I'm reading the Harry Potter series right now, rereading it, and I really enjoy doing it and it just lets me cool off for a little bit. So this is something from the bucket list that I made and it is to practice calligraphy with a big brush pen and let's just say I'm not very good at this, but I still find it very like good and relaxing. And now you can see my bullet journal spread. So I suggest picking up something that would help you in your next academic year. So this would be a bullet journal for me. I'm not saying that you have to do a bullet journal, but I find that this system really works for me. And it's fun as well, and you can see that I did use the spread from Amanda's. So the next thing is to pick up an instrument. I'm not saying that you have to do private lessons, but just something to keep your mind and just get some variance in your summer. So this next thing is just a flip through of what I showed you, and because it's not really clear, so maybe this would help. 